Winning is hard enough, but doing it the hard way takes something special. Especially in the high octane world of Rocket League Esports, it becomes even more of a challenge. But today's story is about a team that was able to overcome all of this, pulling off one of the greatest runs in Rocket League history. This is the legendary run of Cloud9. Cloud9's story would begin in 2017, when the roster of Squishy Muffins, Torment and Gimmick would meet for the very first time. At this point they were known as Iris, but quickly left to form their own team known as the Muffin Men. The Muffin Men were a dynamic team, one where every team member brought something unique to the table. Squishy was the mechanical maestro, known for his crazy outplay ability, as well as pioneering many of Rock League's first mechanics. Gimmick on the other hand was the newest of the team, and would be a perfect counterpart to Squishy, being one of Rock League's best offensive players. And Torment was the one keeping them in check, the clear-headed defensive mastermind, and this combination of mechanics, offense, and steel nerves would make Cloud9 one of the most dangerous teams in Rock League. At least on paper, that is. Initially, Cloud9 would deliver on all that promise, winning DreamHack Atlanta in 2017, as well as earning the number one seed for North America heading into the Season 4 World Championships. Cloud9 are the North American Regional Champions. They had given themselves the best chance to win it all. Cloud9 would start their tournament run in what's known as the upper bracket. Ideally, you would want to stay in the upper bracket for the entire event, as this saves you from elimination, plus gains you a massive advantage if you make it to the grand finals. However, if you lose, you go down into the dreaded lower bracket, with no second chances left. If you end up down here, you will have to prepare for an almost impossible gauntlet run, and if you get through all of that and reach the grand finals, you'd have to play the winner of the upper bracket not once, but twice in order to win. From a statistical standpoint, being in the lower bracket makes your chances of winning significantly slimmer if not impossible. So for Cloud9, their main goal was to stay out of that lower bracket, but unfortunately for them, they would slip up early on, eventually falling short to Method in the lower bracket final. With Dignitas eventually winning the whole championship. This would happen again in Season 5, with Cloud9 losing out to Dignitas in the lower bracket final once again, and they would go on to win back to back RLCS titles. Cloud9 was gutted. It was tough seeing a team like Dignitas form what is now known as Rocket League's greatest dynasty, win both Season 4 and 5, coming tied into the Rocket League scene because Cloud9 knew deep down that they could very easily be the ones lifting those trophies. Their only problem was falling into that lower bracket and having to make that seemingly impossible run. You could say it was their only weakness. But Cloud9 knew this and got back to work again in Season 6. They would once again be a strong force in North America, but this time had a lot of competition with teams such as NRG, who were playing in some absolutely incredible form. And on the other side of the pond, Dignitas would begin one of the longest winning streaks in Rocket League history, not losing a single series in the entire season. To put it simply, it was possibly one of the most competitive seasons in RLCS history, and it would be even harder for Cloud9. Cloud9's first matchup was against a team called We Dem Girls, a newly created team which did feature some familiar faces. But knowing Cloud9's ability, most people assumed they would take the win. You've held Cloud9 to such a high standard here for so long. That's true. Because they kind of almost demand it, they are such a good team. We expect the best from them. We know they can beat literally anybody in the world on a good day. The question is, is this that day? And now he's the solution for We Dem Girls, who sit here on the orange side to take on Cloud9 in the blue. A best of five here in round one of season six the Rock League Championship Series World Championships. Cloud9 would start out slow, but then would begin to find their feet as the series went on, which placed them in a tense final game, which went to overtime. Halfway into another game, coming back down, Metzenaris Met! shot, Squishy's not there, but the shot is wide again. Torment, trying, looking for the clear at this point. It's Cloud9 is going to be suffocated, I oh, oh, got it. it, gimmick. On the wall, and we damn girls takes the victory. Cloud9 had already faltered, and this placed them in the dreaded lower bracket. This was the worst possible start for Cloud9. Gone either way. And now it's three world championships in a row where Cloud9 is supposed to make a run through the upper bracket, and they just don't do it, so they're gonna have to battle through the lowers. But that means that eventually they're gonna have to play some extremely strong teams. 
Cloud9 was now facing probably the most impossible run any team could face. Not only would they have to win five series in a row to reach the grand finals, they would have to beat the world's best in order to do so. But Cloud9 knew this. They had been here twice before. The question was, could they do it again and go one step further? They started off strong, sweeping tainted minds in convincing fashion, but it would be a surprise second round matchup which would be the first major test for Cloud9. This would be NRG, yes that's the team that came tantalisingly close to beating the titans that were Dignitas in one of the most dramatic moments in Rocket League history. NRG had also beat Cloud9 in the league play and were the number one seed coming out of North America, put it simply. This would be an extremely tough matchup. Rocket League title as well. Let's find out. They gotta stay alive against the biggest dogs they have in their own home. Definitely not ready to go on the attack. It was an extremely tight match with both teams exchanging blows. Get the ball away from the side. Squishy down the middle. Squishy gets two. They've put it in another one on a great pass. Such pass torment now. Looking to get a pass. Squishy on the wall. It takes the demolition. Great step up. Justin tends the shot. He's got so many options. Just. But once again, Cloud9 would find itself in a game five. Cloud9 had narrowly escaped elimination, but this wasn't the last time they lived on the edge. Their next matchup was against former world champions Flipside Tactics, which was the team of the legend himself, Kuxa. Once again, it would be a tough matchup for Cloud9. This weekend, but well, let's get it underway. Cloud9 and Flipside Tactics. And once again, it would go the distance. Cloud9 have gone to a game five in every single one of their series so far in this world championship. They dropped down for Wheatham Girls, but then they took down NRG. So for Cloud9, game fives are no stranger. Side, they gotta go the distance. Torment! Torment! Cloud9! Seven seconds left! They've done it! After a very intense comeback from Flipside Tactics, the ball hits the ground. Cloud9! Cloud9 had narrowly made it through past some of the best teams in the world, but it wouldn't get any easier for them. Their next matchup was against the top OCE team at the time, called the Chiefs. The Chiefs had just come off beating NRG, who Cloud9 had almost lost to. But Cloud9 was on a roll now, taking the series in four games. And once again, Cloud9 had booked a date in that lower bracket final. Cloud9 had been at this exact moment two times before, and at both times it had gone horribly wrong. However, this time round they would have a rematch against We Dem Girls, the team that had put them in the lower bracket in the first place. Cloud9 wanted revenge, but most of all, they wanted to do what they had never done before, and that was reach a grand final in the World Championship. The question was, would it be third time lucky for Cloud9? Home crowd in Vegas, We Dem Girls wants to play spoiler, they want the rematch against Dignitas. Let's get up and get loud, it's game day. We've got a best of seven to see who gets to challenge them for the title. Squishy with the response, now back down, beating everybody off the backboard. Gimmick's there all Cut. by himself, tap it down and in, that'll be the first goal for Cloud9. Cloud9 would continue their peak form, dominating in the first half of the series. Still always out for one more pass. Oh, it went in. Gimmick in the torment on the infield pass. A beautiful side. Squishy. Gimmick trying to put it across the box. There's torment, and he finds it. Comes in from nowhere. The pass is But Weedem Girls wasn't going to be beaten that easily. Corner. It went so long. Oh my goodness! Nice. What an insane play! Weedem save and plays it high squishy looking for the read here and can he find torment down in the midfield for the infield pass it will go through cloud nine's got the lead in game six within the first the minute side, but here comes torment a miss from him gimmick will play over to the side squishy puts on the backboard he'll look for gimmick here across the field dropping it down gimmick just goes for the goalie he goes for the dual threat squishy is able to do it himself do it. cloud nine secure their chance to challenge dignitas in the finals it'll be north america versus europe for the world championship Cloud9 had gotten their revenge, and now would face Dignitas for the World Championship. 
Cloud9 now face their toughest challenge yet, the two-time defending world champions Indignitas, who at this point hadn't lost a single series in the entire season. But to make it even harder, Cloud9 would have to beat them not once, but twice. And we have to remember, Cloud9 certainly was suffering from fatigue after all these games. It was a seemingly impossible challenge. But Cloud9 had already gone through what was deemed impossible. They were playing without fear, so could they do it? Could they actually pull off one of the biggest upsets in Rocket League history? RLCS Season 6, all coming down to this final matchup. North America versus Europe, defending world champions against a Cloud9 team that's eager to bring the title back to North America. Carpet, this is a storybook ending. Cloud9 in new territory, but a territory that we've expected them to be in for the past two seasons. There's somebody that was always projected to be here at the end with Dignitas, and now they have finally done it. Now they've made quite a terror in the lower bracket, and they've taken down the best of the best. But now they're actually at the best. Dignitas, they are undefeated this season. Is this going to be the falter, or will they stay strong? Here we go. Are you ready, Las Vegas? Game number one, the World Championship on the line. Turbo now centering that ball out to the middle. Gimmick. Touch, and the first goal of the grand final goes to Squishy in cloud nine. Trying to trap this ball. Time running out for Dignitas in game number one. KDOP with the control. Good first touch, the pass. It got the, it. Oh, the give and go. KDOP is able to pull it off. Good first touch from him. Going for the clear. Gets it by Panda. Squishy takes it over to Torment. Into the middle. And giving off the backboard. Squishy couldn't get to it. Overtime in game one. Squishy with the challenge. Torment again. Gimmick with a shooting opportunity. Good first touch. That shot just high. Follow up from Squishy. And Cloud9 take game one. We talk about how it's off the corner of the ceiling, bouncing down. Went across net very briefly, but KDOP had the play. Squishy with the demo. And the pass. Gimmick's waiting. Cloud9 strike first in game two. For a third touch on an attack, Dignitas. I just don't see a player there when I'd usually expect it. I ignite spoke about. Cloud9 in that shot there, finding the back of the net. Torment coming up. Gimmick. Hits it off the ceiling. Panda. Misses his hit. Gimmick makes it pay. Three goals now for Cloud9. Not one last shot, but that's going to be it. Cloud9 take back to back. They're playing cleaner, they're playing faster. Starting to see cracks in the armor of Dignitas. They've seemed invulnerable, but Cloud9 is making it look like they're beatable. Pop it up for Torment. Violent Panda racing to it. Chance for Squishy, Squishy off the backboard. Leaves it for Gimmick, and Gimmick! Seven seconds in! Nice, let's go! With the save, but Gimmick is still attacking. Carry a spot from him, the dunk from Torment, and Cloud9 extend the lead to two. They are tearing apart Dignitas, shot after shot. Dignitas off the kickoff, Squishy, oh, he got the foot reset, the follow-up from Torment, Cloud9 making it happen. As the final seconds tick away, Cloud9 in game three, get one more on the board, Torment with the flick, and a five to nothing shutout. In game three, <laughs> this was supposed to be the perfect season for Dignitas. You heard the desk, everyone thinking that Dignitas was unbeatable. And now in this first series, Cloud9, they look like they're playing at a different Number level. Four. Cut it off, no boost for Squishy. Attacking opportunity, turbos up. That shot underneath the crossbar and in Dignitas responds. Five.
toss. Needed to get in Panda's way. He did just that. But the shot, that one chuck testing squishy. And now Panda. Getting a challenge. That deflection and Kadoff drops it just wide. Threatening now. They've been in Cloud Nine's path for so long. Gets it over to Torment. Torment. He gets it by Turbo and then. Cloud9 were one step closer to that world championship. They were so close now, so close to completing what would be the most legendary run in Rocket League. Were they about to do the unthinkable? The final match, game number one, Cloud9 Dignitas, who is going to take it? Panda up against Squishy and off to the side. Turbo misses his hit. Chance quickly for Cloud9. Kadov. Torment. Upfield Panda. Hits it back to Kadov. A gimmick cuts it off. Double tap chance. Gimmick. He, he hits it. Incredible. The MVP for North America. And he is Preventing stepping Turbo up. that attack mounted. But chance now. Turbo. Turbo answering back. We're tied up. Set the tone for the final match of season six. A demo there. Squishy with the shot. Follow up from Torment.
Top Panda. Squishy. Going for the pass. That shot actually. He got it! He dumped it all himself. Squishy with the early goal. Dignitas need to answer back right now. They can't get let up this there. game get up get there. Get up there. Get up there. just that. Dignitas tie it up. You can call it a great pass. <laughs> Passing it right to the back of the net. But now Torment. Turbo. Kata cuts it out. Torment chasing this into the corner. Squishy off the wall, going for it. Side. Cloud Nine mounting an assault. Squishy passes to himself. He gets Left it. Racer. Cloud9 had actually done it, against all the odds, and had proved the entire Rocket League world wrong. But what makes this story so special is how they did it. That incredible run through some of the world's best teams, including a team that many thought couldn't be beaten, all on Rocket League's biggest stage. It's a truly incredible story, and easily one of Rocket League's greatest. This is the legendary run of Cloud9. The longest run. Ever, I think in any bracket in the RLCS. How you feeling? Feels great. 